Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Master Plan Tycoon. This was another demo game that was part of Steam's Next Fest that was between October 3rd and October 10th. And obviously it's being released today for you guys um, on my YouTube. So I wanted to take you through this game. Uh, it has a basic well, tutorial slash playthrough, I guess. And the gist of it is you need to make logistic networks similar to how factory town was where you have say a storage unit and you have to link trees you have to link stone you have to link water you have to link crops and then those things go into other things that produce logs and, and produce lumber and then you have different like missions which you combine things like this you you need to combine stone and bread to make brick etc 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 so it's, it's a pretty straightforward game um i i think when the game comes out when it's fully released i think it'll be a lot um, more involved and a lot better as far as like setting up logistic networks as far as not having your lines get crossed etc etc so what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here and we're going to go to reset progress to start a brand new game i did do one full playthrough of this so hopefully we can get through that so what we're going to do is we're just going to start right away we're going to do the tutorial right click to open the build menu or the b key Build a forester and sawmill. Now we just, uh, before, and again, there, there's, this is just a basic jump into the game. It takes you right into the action. There's no backstory as of yet. There's none of that. Up in the top left, you have, I'm gonna pause it. You have your plank count, you have stone, and you have brick. The number 75 is how many you can store. This is how many you have on the left. You have 10 and 10, obviously. Um, and then we have obviously no bricks. So we can't make bricks yet. Um, so here, let's, we'll run through the basic how to play the game, and then uh, you can make a judgment for yourself. If you have the demo, the uh, Discord link, Twitter link, and then the Steam link are all down in the bottom right where my mouse is, if you can see that. So, build a forester and sawmill. Now we need to build a forester and the sawmill. These buildings will help us make planks. Without them, we won't be able to move on. So you gotta build one forester and one sawmill. So a forester takes two planks. It, it um, recipe is it needs a forest. It takes one minute, gives you one tree. And then the bottom thing at the bottom is, I don't understand what the bottom part one minute is, but nonetheless, you see how you have a bit of a of a uh, a radius bubble around you, which means you're supposed to put it somewhere. Now, it wants us, because we're doing the tutorial, it wants us to do it over here. So we'll just do it over here. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll recap, I'll, I'll cover real quick. Green is forest, yellow is crop, like a wheat, I guess. Brown, this kind of tan color is your stone. And as you move through it, there are, there are a few other types of things, um, like other types of, uh, I don't know, I guess consumables, as you call it that. And again, this has a radius. You could put it as tight as you want it here. It wants to put it here. You could probably put it anywhere for the tutorial. And basically anything that's in, inside the ring that you see here will be cut as forest now these do deplete as time goes on now you can see that there's a lot more dense area where my mouse is here and this is less dense and then this is like i guess it'd be less dense even then so this is obviously ha more than uh like a denser area so you'll have more trees to cut here than in this area so there's our forester and we also have to do a saw I mean, you can right click on it or you hit b to open up your building tab right now we can build tier zero fish a well or fish, so a fisherman for fish, a well for water, forester and sawmill for planks, stone is a quarry, and then storage is just storage. So it wants us to make a sawmill. We're gonna put the sawmill right here. And let's um, unpause this. You have three speeds at the top, which are one, two, three on your keyboard. And then I'm not sure if it's zero, I'm not sure what pause is it. But usually we'll leave it at medium speed. And as you see here, we have a, a well, and these little dots represent what this is being pushed. Because right now the well is producing one water every 15 seconds, basically is what that means. Now, what you have to do is you actually have to connect these buildings. You can only zoom in this far. And you see here it says whack, thack, thack, whack, whack. And this is like little, I don't know, maybe later on there'll actually be people here doing this stuff. But here it's taking away trees from the center. And if you look at our forester, it takes one tree every one minute. And then here it's going to count up to three. So there are there are ratios eventually as you get on farther and farther there's ratios. A forester, you can have them doing two things. You can have them doing planting and cutting. You could have them just doing cutting. You could just have them just doing planting. So that represents the bottom bar. If you have them doing both, obviously they're gonna do this one and they're gonna do this, this and this. So it, it's not as lucrative. So we're just gonna do cutting for now. 
and then let's click off of that. So you basically where it says tree, you click and you drag, you can drag this anywhere. Where it says where it's blue, that means it's okay. When it turns red or this orange color means something is blocking it. So we do that. So now we're gonna feed trees to the sawmill. The sawmill takes one tree, well it's here, one tree, and gives you two planks every 30 seconds. So basically you would need two foresters to keep up with one sawmill if you're looking to ratio things that way. For now, we're not gonna do that. You're gonna grab your plank and again, bring it down. These, these make little squiggly lines as you do it and you just tap it in here. And then this is your generic storage. And your generic storage, it doesn't, it won't, like if, you, if I hover, if I left click on it and hold it down, you see the big circle around it, it goes all the way up to the water, it goes all the way to the left of the saw of the for, forester and sawmill. If I let it go, it goes away. I don't know why it does that. I, I wish it would just stay. Um, like the forester stays, you can see it has its ring already. The storage is, so anything that you build within that range, you can connect to that storage and it'll pull from that storage. So right now we have some water, we have some planks and we have some stone. And this is what we came with, which is what was up here, of course. The next thing it wants us to do is build a quarry because we need stone. Let's go to stone, go to quarry. Now, again, this is a lot smaller circle. If you, if you look compared to the forester, a lot smaller one. And you could put this wherever it's red, you can't, you can't put it. So it can't be, it has to be at least one tile away from the edge of everything. Obviously you can't put it in the water. The water has nice little like wavy graphics. You see it, how it's kind of waving around. So let's put the quarry here where it wants us to. It builds pretty quickly. Now quarry to give us one stone in one minute and 15 seconds. Again, we're gonna drag this up to the, up to the generic storage. And like I said, anything that's built within that radius or that, I guess you wanna call it radius of, of this, will, um, you can pull from the storage. Now, buildings need food to function. St these don't need anything, but some of these other ones they do, uh, these don't, but it'll tell you what their infrastructure is needed to produce, which these don't at, the t at this time, um, but obviously they will. Now, one thing I wanna point out is, you see right here, when this finishes, there's gonna be a little circle with a question mark, which means it's waiting for materials. Because as I said, a sawmill produces one plank, two planks in 30 seconds, but a forester only produces one log in one minute. Anyway, let's move on to fishermen because that's where you need to get food, which was gonna come later on. And these, as long as these I think are touching this, they can go, actually, yeah, these have to be, yeah, full tile away. You can't kind of stuff them in there. Yeah, there's no rotating anything. You just, it's just how it looks. It's funny that the quarry, it says knock. You can hear it, just listen. Like it has a bit of a knocking noise. It'd be neat later on if this has like more animation to it. Or this game may stay very, it's, it's almost similar to like uh, mini motors or mini motorway in mini um, transit or whatever it's called where you're, you're, you're setting up uh, like rail stations and you're connecting buildings. It's a little bit different. Again, let's feed some fish. The fish are produced one every 30 seconds. So that's pretty good. Now, let's moving, moving on, we need to get some water. The thing is that we already have water over here. I don't know why it wants to build another one. I think it's because this is so far away because the water has to travel all the way out here. And also because these things, no matter how fast they produce things, they can only send one, I believe, they can only send one per like length. Cause the water says here, and this one's all the way over here. As soon as this one clicks in, then another one is gonna pop up. See, cause the line essentially is full and there goes the other one. So the shorter the lines, the faster it can go because only one thing can occupy this at one time. Uh, obviously that well is not put in the right spot. So if you wanna re if you want to move things, all you do is you just click on them and just move them. Like you can just move them anywhere you want. For some reason, it wanted me to put the well exactly where the fish was doesn't matter. Let's do the water for the well. Now, again, this builds pretty quickly. This will give you one water every 15 seconds. So that's pretty quick. Oops, sorry. And you click on the dot and you drag it up in here. Again, this is universal storage. It'll store anything. As far as I know, anything in the game can be stored here. And like I said, even though we have water built up, you can only have one per like line, I guess, if that makes sense. You can't just funnel and funnel and funnel. What will happen is this will, this will back up and eventually it'll turn off. So again, this is also used for ratios as well. You can only have one. So the closer they are, the quicker they can get to each other. The next thing is we have to get into fish alone, or, or sorry, get into farming. You can't feed fishermen. You can't feed a settlement with fish alone. 
Exactly, because I don't even eat fish. So let's build a farm. Which farming, if you remember, is not in tier one. We have to, or tier, tier zero, we have to click into tier one. This is where you start getting into more advanced things. So you have a farm, a mill, water, and to make bakery, which makes bread. So that obviously takes metal and other things, or sorry, meal, water, bread, other things. Again, it, it, it's this actually, these buildings have maintenance to them. You see, a farm has a maintenance of one fish and one water. A mill is two and two, a bakery is three and three, and a well has no mason. Well, things that produce basic items don't have a maintenance cost. Beer is another one. Farms do, breweries do, wells don't. Um, sheep farms, sewing workshops do, and then clay pit, and then obviously the brick factory, which we're not quite there yet. But we want to do um, bread by producing a farm. So we're going to follow where it wants us to put it, which I think is up here. Again, these can be put anywhere as long as when you do your little squiggly lines, like they, they if you can see, they kind of are naturally sloped a certain way and you can't make these go you can't like bring this one out like this you can't do that you have to kind of do a direct line so it's good to have things close together but it's also good to have things far enough apart where the, where the lines aren't going to overlap so let's place a farm and then we're going to need a mill which is going to go right next to it we're also going to need a well which we'll want as well feed our own well and then we're gonna have a bakery and you can oops sorry the well is gonna I have to move the well the well is gonna go here and the bakery is gonna go here. Oh, there. It wants, it wants it to go here, but I don't think it really matters. I think this is fine. So, the crop in here now, you can choose again, plant or gather, similar to how the forester worked. And you can see, look how much we're actually depleting the, the wood now. So, maybe we'll start doing some planting too. It, it'll end up taking more time because it'll do one thing of cutting and one thing of planting. Rinse and repeat. Let's see where this actually gets planted when this finishes. Let's see if we can spot it. Right there, it filled in this gap. So as long as you have one to one or have two of these, one doing planting, one doing cutting, it'll it'll keep running through. Now this one did two plantings at one at once. I'm not really sure why, honestly. These aren't sliders, it just like this is like taking from the forest, this is putting into a forest. Now we have our crops. Now we could have actually built this over here, because this is cropland. You can't click on anything to tell you what it is, but based on the shade of yellow, that's what it is. So we have our crop, we're doing, um, it just tells you here, farm to mill, mill to bakery, well to bakery. Basically, you figure out the left-hand side here is what they need, the right-hand side is what they're gonna give out to you. And we're actually gonna have to drag this bread up to here, so we might as well do that now, because we have to go to this mission. Now, you can connect everything, the meal is gonna go to here, the water to water. This water isn't gonna work as well, you know why? Because there has to be water near this. Like, you have to have this on the water. Which then you're like, hmm, well, how do we do that? Well, basically you have to move this one up. Oops, move this one up to here and move this one down. Well, you don't actually have to because they will cross paths here, um, which is kind of funny that the way this is set up because there's no way you could do this the way this setup is. You'd have to almost have it over here so they don't cross paths, but it doesn't matter. It, it, you can put this here. It doesn't really matter where you put it. The crops have to go into the mill. The mill is going to make the meal. So a crop produces one crop every minute. The mill uses one crop every 30 seconds to give you two, which is basically the same thing as saying you're using um, one per minute, basically, as far as how it comes in. Because this would be, you know, or actually, no, it'd be 15 seconds. You're getting two per 30, so one per 15 seconds. So you would need four farms to keep up with one minute. Well, excuse me, I'm. I'm Getting ahead of myself again. You would need two farms. You have to go off of what this number says and what the yield is. But we're, 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 anyway, we're producing two meal, and that's gonna go in. And then also remember, as I said before, you need maintenance. Bakeries need maintenance, mills need maintenance, farms need maintenance. And the maintenance comes in from one fish and one water. And you can see how it kind of, there's, I'm not sure if it's like per minute. Seems like it's more than that. And then that all comes from the storage. If you remember, the storage, I can actually move this out a little bit more. It encompasses this whole, oh. Why wouldn't it let me move that? Hold on a second. Oh, I can't move it. Um, it encompasses everything there, which means, the, so the, the, the way that the, the storage works is that any building that has a maintenance to that will draw automatically from any storage building with, within the radius of where it's sitting. So the bakery, the mill, the farm are all within the radius of the storage. You can kind of see it kind of a grayed out area 
um, as a big circle around the storage. So as long as buildings are within that, it'll automatically drag and take the maintenance items, which is actually pretty nice, by the way. All right, so if something is wrong, looks like it's not getting, um, well, the bakery actually is getting a maintenance item. Uh, what are we actually waiting on here? I think it's just the crop, right? Yeah, it's just the crop. Uh, but we have bread here. So we have a 10, like this is full. So the way also you can tell is if you have a brown area coming out of this, that means it is full. And if you have brown areas here, I mean, there may be different colors down here. Uh, don't, yeah, they're all brown. So the brown, like, edge of the line means that something is full this is this is the output is full and this shows that the input is full as well and then also means the bread output is not why is it not making one more oh because it makes three at a time that's why so it can't make another one because of the way that it's set up here this can only hold 10 so it has two extra plus the three extra that it made which is why it says five because it makes three at one time but it does say here about the bakery having maintenance, which that's not true because we have the storage there. But again, for the tutorial, I think you actually have to you have to do it. And remember, that's interior one. So we just put this, um, maybe we'll just put it here, I guess. I don't know if it matters. This should, this should take care of this problem. And again, you can see how interesting the game is going. You could really have it, you know, have tons of forests all around here bunch of sawmills as long as all the lines mat meet meet up because you can't have them actually it looks like you can have it going through the middle of of a, of a resource which is very interesting by the way and it doesn't cost any money to to move things if you click on this you just click it again and move it which is kind of really really handy by the way okay now the next thing we're at is connect the quarry and bakery to mission whoa what is this looks like a special mission now special mi special missions basically take you to a new part of the of like a map within a map so you're internally making bricks for this instant and there's other missions um uh over here somewhere i don't think in the tutorial you actually get to these missions but nonetheless it basically takes you to this so the way you do it is we need stone now and the stone is coming from the quarry well it's like it's just a far distance away now can we drag another one the answer is you can but you see it doesn't really work so the way you do it is you grab it to the storage and you grab the storage to the stone so the storages are used as a buffer but also as a way to bend you see how i'm bending all those lines but i want to actually put it farther over here there you go and now the stone that's going to come from the quarry is going to go one's going to go to here which we already have 23 and then one's gonna go to here and then oh actually it looks like they're actually shared oh okay that's one thing i didn't notice so the so the storages are shared between all of them that's interesting i didn't know that worked that way because hmm, it doesn't tell you i don't think but basically you see 51 75 60 51 or well 52 now 79 6 so, the, so the, they're shared that's interesting really interesting that it does that it wants us to do this but this is good enough now, click on the quarry to quarry to mission. Oh, well, is it not gonna let me do it directly? Or I mean, is it, oh, I guess I have to do it directly then. Shoot, okay, if you, if you let's see, you left click on that, it goes away. And how am I gonna, how am I supposed to do it? I guess if I connect it, and then if I just move this out of the way, maybe I could do it like that. It wants me to use just one. It won't let you connect it if it's red. Hmm, interesting that it makes me connect it like that. I can't run it through the storage. Hmm. Okay, then ignore what I said as far as how that works then. That's kind of weird. Doesn't really make any sense. Oh, I know what it was. Because of that. Okay, I got it. Never mind. So, and, and here's here's another thing which you also have to keep in mind about the quarries. Build one more, build more quarries because now you're splitting the use of of your main colony, your main area with the mission area. So it wants us to build another quarry for some reason. I don't think we need to. Uh, where does it want us to build this one at? Does it matter? No, it doesn't really matter. But what it, what it, what it wants you to do, oh, I cannot move the screen. There we go. It wants me to build it. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm going to build it here. And all I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this one away and I'm gonna drag and put this one up in here. That way it's separated. Now we go to the mission. 
and then it, it takes items it takes five stone and ten bread and you and you you have to go in and we're gonna make the bricks <clears throat> excuse me now again if you remember we're at tier one <clears throat> excuse me sorry guys there are multiple tiers of I guess difficulty like the most difficult one we have right now is the bread it requires one basic building two basic buildings one refining building and one like final building if you look at it that way now in the mission as you see we're on like a brand new map like a brand new area and then here's your brick so it's like storage here now to business do you see the node labeled in that's what we're bringing this is what we're bringing in from the other location this includes the resources that we have collected in the master zone build the first stores in this zone then we can get them so it's it's kind of interesting how it works i imagine later on in the game it gets to be a lot more complex because right now we're only bringing the stone and bread in which i think the stone and bread is what you need for these other buildings so we're going to click this and we're going to click this but you know what guys what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this and i'm going to split this up into two parts because i think the uh the recording of this will end up going around 45 minutes and i don't want to make that one video so this is the first look part one uh, we're gonna run through making the bricks again. We have to go back to base to back to excuse me geez back to bait words are hard today <laughs> Back to basics with our things. We have to do a forester a sawmill We're likely gonna have to make more food get another fisherman. So it's like your own little I don't know community inside a community. It's almost like uh, vibes of inception the movie where it's like a town within 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 the town and then that then reflects the main town Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Stay tuned for part two. Um, I'm going to try to have part two out the next day. So whenever you watch this, if you, if you get it right away, it'll be the next day. That way both parts will be together if I can do it that way. Um, otherwise, stay tuned. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Everything helps. I'm getting towards my goals. I love the comments, responding to everybody. I love the likes. It really helps out the algorithms to the to the uh, YouTube and to get my uh, my channel exposed as well as the videos. I haven't seen many people playing this game. I think it's very, very fun. Just the basics of it is very, very fun. I can't wait for the full game to come out. Not sure when that's gonna be, but hopefully to not too soon, not too far away. Again, this is called Master Plan Tycoon. The demo is available on Steam. Feel free to check it out for yourself and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care now.